I sure can. A pretty quick roche spawn. EG prep in with their high ground wards. They see Boom. The battle of the D wards begins. But it's a lift up and Yopaj, he's still down on the low ground. Arbed, all oh, the catch on him though. Kill it off the Kunkka. Couldn't BKB. Arbed with a surprise initiation. Just got too greedy there, trying to hold on to his BKB for a potential five and yeah. He's hasted, gets out of the static storm. Arteezy, he's in deep with his BKB and the song will- They know. But they're still Maybe very powerful here, tower. even though EG has the Aegis and a 5k lead. So many ways for Boom to start and continue team fights. And spotting RTZ first, seeing the Naga Siren there, forcing an early BKB is a good start. Battle Beast, he's in on top of Timmons, but then all the Naga just finds the Enigma. RTZ rushes straight forward towards FPZ and into Tim's now as Arvid, pulverizing into the poor Marcy, forcing buybacks out as the first line. It's a truly tragic team fight in the end for Boom. So unfortunate for them, but so good for EG. One more action. with the side device on this Viper. They've got all the control in the world. Make sure they focus the cooker down before he can get anything off. And the freezing field onto Tim's. Two heroes dead for. Can they find? They don't have vision. Tim's. Does he see Arbed? See the Primal Beast, they jump and he blinks away. EG very quick, off the mark to run as Nightfall blinks out of the map. He's Enigma, the BKBs are up from him and Nightfall. And FBZ's chasing, wants the black hole and he'll have to spend it for the seal. Where's the Rubik? Hell, Silence, stop and they've got the double on Jackie. Three down song, allowing the escape. Arteezy on the run, trying to flicker away, but glimpsed and held in place. He's in trouble. Arteezy is stuck here outside the Roche pit, and Jackie is making sure work of him, but the Satanic, they're healing. Arteezy saved up by Ahmed now. The black hole from FPZ, though. Catching out the Naga and the Primal Beast. Sucking them back into the damage of Jackie. Freezing down from Fly, goes over to Wayne Yopaj, but Jackie's on the Nightfall now. Shredding through the Viper as Fly tries to hold his ground, but EG loses three big cores. Only two supports remain. against Naga, against the illusions all over the place. The Jackie Bristle, we talk about Bristle being this mid-game tempo carry, Jackie says, they just down. Bristleback still on the front lines under the break of the Nether Toxin, has to run away. They stick around here. FBZ smokes being popped, so maybe want to play around another Ninja Gear, but here they go. Static storms in on they the Naga. Out easy. They caught out on TZ and Jackie straight on top of it. The black hole fight over the back of the corner. Getting it, boom! It looks like they've sealed the deal here. They're gonna get at least a second lane of racks. EG still have a little bit of fight left in them, but it's not much. They have a no buyback on Naga. 50 seconds without her. Arbet has respawned and they're trying to play forward here. The jump in for the Pearl Beast, aiming for the Marcy, but pops the cheese. Bristleback dies though! Yopa is trying his hardest to battle back into EG, but even a three man hold here is good enough for the NA squad. Yeah, with Bristleback similarly not having buyback there, they can't actually force the issue here. I've been charging forward, but has he been the force he can chew? Disposed back by the Marcy, but he's on top of Yopa, dragged around by the X mark. The Nether Toxin, though, causing so many issues here for Boom, breaking up the Kunska, catching out the Marcy. Stolen yeah. Unleashed. The Unleashed, stolen by the Rubik, trying to pummel into them. Great, the Enigma has got to run. Such a, a good job at bouncy back numerous times in this game and now bouncing all over the map controlling both outposts but roshan right now belongs to eg and boom not in a not in a position at all to pivot into the pit so good for eg you do not want to give up these late game items neither team willing to take that risk and maybe this mid lane jackie they're picking out Jackie. They're also staff away. Gets up his BKB just in time. Arteezy has the song, but gets bashed up. Control the Naga Siren. There we go with the Wind Waker. Sent the Skyward to try and fly up in his space, but the Abyssal Blade. They've caught out Arteezy. Killed off the Naga. Under the Nether Toxin, it's very irritating here with the Nightfall Viper spamming them out consistently. Three second cooldown with an eight second duration. 
this level 25 talent allows him to spam it, but they go in onto him. Finding the Viper catch, but that's save out from crit. Telekinesis and Wind Wake is still gonna get dragged back into the static storm though. That didn't save him enough. Another death here from EG, and maybe buyback's being forced because they've lost four. They don't want to buy back. That's, you know, this is one of those scenarios where they're so close to respawning. It was like 15 seconds on Naga, 25 seconds on Primal Beast. You're telling your team, just don't get picked off. Give up a lane of racks. Give up the tier four towers. Save, we need to save these buybacks. And it will be five alive in a couple of seconds as Nightfall has gone in for the black hole. And he's got the catch. The big abides with a time here for the Naga Siren to maybe turn with a son of the Siren. They've taken down the Aegis still as it comes up. And crushing through with a soul to Oh my gosh, that's... Oh, boom! He's the, uh, victory. Downfall 